traveling skydiver Michael Holmes steps out of a plane. There's over two miles of empty air below him. Today, a client poses for Michael's helmet cam before taking the plunge. The adventurous client has a picture-perfect jump. But for Michael, this dive is about to turn into the worst-case scenario. Mike pulls his ripcord, but his parachute gets tangled. And when he fires the cable release, the stray lines snag on his pack. From high above, another pro skydiver, Jonathan King, can only watch as his pal plummets out of control. Mike is falling helplessly through the sky. Even with the ground rushing toward him, he knows launching his reserve into the tangled mess will only make things worse. Out of time and out of options, Mike accepts his grim fate. Horrified, Jonathan sees his friend crash to the earth. Then makes a beeline to the point of impact. Okay. Okay. Jonathan tears through the brush toward the tattered remnants of the parachute. Speak to me, bro. He can't believe what he finds. You bring him in? Yeah. Mike is actually conscious. A thorny clutch of blackberry bushes cushioned what should have been a fatal fall. Definitely I feel like I'm lucky to be alive. Probably uh, one of the luckiest people ever, really. I remember actually thinking, this is it. This is how I'm going to die. I waved goodbye to the camera. And that all that came out was... The extent of it in the end was a broken left ankle and a collapsed and punctured right lung and uh, some broken ribs. Maybe most incredibly, the man who fell from the sky is undeterred from the job he loves. The accident has never for one second made me think I wouldn't jump again. I, I wanted to get straight back up there. After all, once you've survived million to one odds, you've earned a lifetime of smooth sailing.